To the market, stocks are up this day. I'm going to call it gridlock. It's a gridlock rally, and we've got gridlock in Congress. The market seems to like it. David Barnson is here. So, on a gridlock day, a gridlock rally, I should say, what do you buy? First of all, do we have to have the GOP take the House back for Tammy and I to get our seats back? Is that what we're doing? We're in a holding pattern for, <laughs> I don't know what you mean. for, for two years. Um, this is what you buy. You buy the same things you would have bought yesterday. The fact of the matter is the market has been pricing in all year the consensus view that the Democrats were going to take the House, but we didn't really know the margin it ended up being somewhat underwhelming. Yes, it was. If this election had been in January of this year, you were looking at a 2010 type reversal. The yes. Democrats probably won 20 seats less than they were going to. Yep. On the Senate side, the Kavanaugh escapade added four seats to the Republicans. The market has been pricing that in. And I also will add, there's just no historical foundation for gridlock hurting. The right. three biggest rallies right. of our lifetime, Reagan, Tip O'Neill, uh, uh, Obama, Boehner, and Clinton Gingrich, Divided government is not bad for markets. I'm going to repeat the statistic. There have been 18 midterm elections since 1946. Yeah. In the year after, each and every one of those 18 midterms, markets the market higher. went up yes. an average of 17%. And I'll add to you, that includes 1987. Right. Which, which, which back Monday yes. is in there. Yes. The, the market was still up that year. Lest we forget. Yes. Uh, so I asked the question I was again. 13 years old. I remember it like it was. <laughs> right, 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 right. I asked the question again. <laughs> what should you buy? Today? Listen, you've got to be buying energy stocks because there is a lot of stuff in the market, even with the sell-off in October, half of which is now reversed. You have things that have not participated in the rally as much. The technology stuff, to me, is still very pricey. You do not have that same expensive element in energy. You saw the North Dakota Senate uh, results, a friendlier Senate than we already had, combined with a very friendly energy administration from the executive branch, Secretary Perry, uh, EPA folks doing a great job there. I think you have to buy energy infrastructure. Here's been the theory I've had all year. Mm. We're going to get a deal with China. I don't know if we get an interim deal before we get a big deal. The big deal could take years, but an interim deal... Exporting oil and gas to China is the greatest political winner for this president any consultant could make up. It lowers the trade deficit numerically. It gives China something they need. So what do I buy to cash in on that? You, you buy Schlumberger, Schlumberger. You buy pipelines. That's there, energy infrastructure. Energy infrastructure. SLB is the ticker. Energy, uh, Schlumberger is out there doing oil services okay. on, in the fields. You buy the pipeline companies. Ticker AMJ is kind of a, a basket of the different oil and gas pipelines. Frank you can buy Chevron and Exxon all day. They participate up, yeah. mid, and downstream. These oh, are great ways so to play it. Yeah. Uh, another hit there, uh, David. You, know, you yeah. packed a <laughs> lot into that. The new seat is comfortable. I <laughs> yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. 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 Come and see us again soon. <laughs>